Outside of the Yam Hill County Department of Human Services for a few minutes today to just show the community some support, some awareness of the fact that DHS here in Oregon is corrupt. The top administrator has been fired by the governor in a review of the foster care system in general. So we're going to be out here letting folks know what's going on. Only here for a minute, folks, and you hear that. I'm sorry, ma'am, video is on. Do you mind that? I don't mind at all. You don't mind at all? That's outstanding. I'm talking about the Washington State Child Protective Services. Washington State? It's a it was a case between Washington State and Oregon State. Oregon State wouldn't do anything because at the time my daughter had my grandson. Okay, um, the then Washington State wouldn't do anything because the child didn't live in Washington. Okay. They are corrupt throughout the entire country. They're, They're taking children away from perfectly capable people and giving them to the abuser that they were running from. That's happened okay. many places. Yes. There's They're, a law right now that my daughter is trying to get passed. It's called Jack's Law. It's on Facebook. You can find it I'll find on it. any of those things. But please, I sign will. it. Pass it around. I absolutely will. What it does is it puts these judges, it puts these... Uh, uh, <clears throat> The Child Protective Services, it takes the uh, the court, what is it, the damn court people that they sign up? No, not the attorneys, the judges, the uh, ad liam. Yes, guardian ad litem. Okay, the guardian ad liam. There's one in Washington that handled our case, and that woman had a seven-hour course in, uh, what is it? How you when you temporarily take care, foster care? Right. That was her degree. They're not fully trained. No, no they're, they're not. They're not fully trained to understand the first thing about a child being abused. Do you guys know about Op Exposed CPS? No. It's it's a global movement exposing CPS because this isn't limited to our country. I'm one of the admins it's for the everywhere. Oregon division. Yeah. Do you, you can have find a card with that information? this is me. This is my website. I'll I do talk radio activism. Law. As far as the CPS stuff, I'm one of the admin for the Oregon chapter of Op Exposed CPS, and I'm available all the time by phone. If you find the page or contact me, I'll get you to the page. Yeah. Um, can I send you a link for Jack? You can Bob? send me anything you, you want. You can you. call me personally. Okay. Your family can call okay, me personally. I'll have my daughter call you. These guys are corrupt. Yeah. They, they're they're, they're they destroying DHS, there. destroying yeah. homes systematically. That's what I, I think it stands for. Yeah. So I had today off. I'm just down here to bring some awareness and let people know out there that there is a very large they need group to be of us. They need to have the right training. They're, they're being they held accountable. Kind of In fact, I just got here, as you saw, but I'm going to go inside and introduce myself as oh, well, let them know to always expect us. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, there's things need to be changed because they it, and I also for the for causes in general. I myself through the website do talk radio. Mm -hmm. uh, it's live broadcast through YouTube and then archived, yeah. and it's to raise support for people. So if your daughter and her cause, uh, I'm working together with a bunch of different groups related to protecting the kids. Yeah. Um, I'll send and, you a link. And um, we're going to be doing a live show coming up. This might be something your daughter wants to partake in. That would in. be fantastic. That's awesome. That really does need to get out you, here. When you go to my website, you'll see the live show schedule. Yeah. You can actually subscribe to a weekly update. So as soon as the show gets scheduled, yeah. you'll get notified. Okay. Awesome. Thank you. I will friend you and everything else. Yeah, you can find me on there. My Facebook yeah. and my Twitter are for my activism. It's not to tell you what I had for dinner. No. Once in a while I might, but <laughs> probably not. 
yeah. you know. So a lot of information there, and uh, absolutely, you and know. I really appreciate you speaking up because a, people oh, need to understand this is yeah. affecting everybody. Yeah, there um, are women that killed themselves because of what the court system has done to take their children away from them. And it's just happened recent. All over the United States, we are getting people that are signing this petition, and we're trying to make it a law. That's awesome. Where they I, have to become accountable. Make sure you get me that choices. link. Um, I, I have a very large network, yes. and if you added Absolutely. up uh, the network Lord, and their network. Lord puts you where you need to be. He does, yeah. absolutely. He will provide, absolutely. absolutely. I'm a single dad of three, by the way, just so you know. I do have a little experience in this. Yeah, I raised my life by myself. God Love bless you. Life. If you need anything, you know how to get a hold of me. Thank you. That's awesome. Now let's go inside and introduce ourselves. Look at that. You get the call in the wind, you're not sure why you react and positive change happens. Hi everybody, don't get scared. This isn't a hold up or anything. We're from the internet. I'm one of the admin for the Oregon Op Exposed CPS. We, we know that the, the governor just fired the top level DHS because the foster care system's corrupt. So we're here to raise awareness, reach out to anybody that might need support. If CPS is tormenting you, you can find us on Facebook and other places. What's that? I don't have to, but I'm not here for me and who I am. I'm here for the children and the cause of op exposed CPS because CPS is corrupt no, and they're I'm destroying kidding. homes. Yeah. Uh, you're not having people sign anything? No, not today. I'm just bringing awareness. There is a Facebook page specifically for Oregon, mm -hmm. and this is a global movement of the op exposed CPS because of what's at stake, our kids. And it's systematic. Everywhere you go, CPS destroying lives, not following through with promises. Right here, you can Google it. The governor just fired the top DHS administrator and there's a full review of the foster care system. There's people getting screwed and they don't know their legal rights, so that's why we're here. I'm just gonna throw out there that like, when you walk into a place like this with a mask on, like, my first instinct was to trip your ass. So I'm just saying you might wanna do that. That's why I said this isn't a hold up. Well, no. I do things the way I do them, you know? Yes, sir. Can we help you here? I don't know if you can help me. I'm hoping I can help somebody else. Okay, what are we doing? What am I doing? Yeah. Uh, I'm here to spread awareness about DHS. It's corruptions and the fact that the governor just fired the top DHF executive in order to full review of the foster care system. Is that against the law? Okay, so you're not here for any benefits or anything? No, I'm not here for any benefits. Okay. This is public space, as I recall. Okay, so you're here to protest. No, I'm not here to protest. I'm here to share information. Information's free, sir. I'm, am I not allowed to give that away? Um, I'm just wondering why you're in the lobby wearing a mask. Because I'm not here for my benefit. I'm here for the children and the parents that are getting screwed by DHS. Okay. I have the right to do that. We are still in America, and you still are a public servant, sir, so keep that in mind. I don't have to make you aware that I'm recording. I don't need your permission. You have no expectation of privacy here. Okay. So and now you are aware that you need to expect op exposed CPS. We are watching you, just so you're aware. To CPS. DHS, Department of Human Services, Child Protective Services. Yes, I'm aware. I don't work at, for CPS, but I'm aware. Right, so now you know why I'm here. Okay. How long till the police show up? We're not sure. That's fine. How are you today? How are you doing today? Good, how are you? Not too bad. What are you up to? Just sharing some awareness. Okay. Getting some footage, making sure that DHS knows to expect us, that we're watching them. Okay. We know about their corruption, we know about their abuses, we know about their neglect of families. Okay. And uh, as a matter of fact, I had a nice conversation with that lady there in the truck. Uh -huh. She was very happy I showed up today. Okay. Um, you realize that you're on a college campus, so? This is public property. No. This, this is owned by the state, no, is it not? But, it, I'm, but I'm, not, I'm not telling you that you can't be here, okay? I'm, oh, just, okay, saying, okay. I'm just saying that you're aware of that there are tenant. This whole thing, once you come off the street, Schumacher Community College, this is all a college campus. So this is a college campus, so yeah, it's this it's not public property. 
It's private property. But so I'm not, the state, uh, no. And, the and state's I'm, a tenant. You know, yeah, the people. state's a tenant. So in theory, we could see that as the state hiding within private property so that they have a way to control who comes here. I don't know. That'd be your well, interpretation. Sure, no, well, no, because if this is college property uh -huh. and the college uh, puts a no trespassing order on me personally, I can't come here and receive services. That's correct. That's correct. That's against the law, sir. Well, I don't know about that. All it I is. is oh, well, you cannot withhold federal services from an individual because a private property owner says they can't come on a certain piece of land. How's that work out? I'm not sure. You, that's a lovely mask you got on there, so. It is. I, I mean, I'm not giving you a hard time. No, no, I've no. met you before, actually. You're a very nice guy. Yeah. Um, you and know, I'm not, and I could be asking you for your identification, but I'm not because you're not. Well, doing it, it, yeah. See, right now, I'm not on private property. You are. If, if this is leased by the state, I have a right to be here. No. I mean, you do. I'm not saying I that. do. I'm right. not saying that that you don't right. have a right. Sure. I'm just saying that it is private property. No, certainly. If I was from. destroying the property, that's it. And that right. I, that, that but point. reputations are something different. Right. And right. That's, and, that's, and they've destroyed their own reputation by abusing our families and our kids. The governor just fired the top DHS administrator. Did I did know that. I did know that. You did know I that. Did know yeah. That. That's why we're here. We're not here to hurt people. Yeah. Uh, they need to understand that that we're watching. This is a global issue. Right. CPS has run rampant all over the globe. Um, and this movement was so effective uh, at its inception that we shut down all the FBI call centers. They had to reroute the calls with valid calls of abuse through CPS, DHS, etc. Yeah. You know, it, it's time that somebody does it, uh, does something. Well, that's, the college, you that's know, what's nice about America is that we have the freedom of speech and, and that we can gather and all that. It, it is, yeah. We have to uphold that, you know. But what concerns me is what you brought to light, and I appreciate that because... Um, that, that's a loophole, and it, and it raises suspicions about the state and why they would lease private property, because that could be leveraged to exclude people that need to be here. I, I don't know anything about that. That's above my pay grade. But sure. I, but, but I can understand. But we could do the research now and find okay. out, yeah. because the question was raised. That's interesting. I'm going to research that, because I want to know more. I want to know more, and I think other people are going to want to know more. Yeah, knowledge is good. I think they're going to be upset when they find out that they could be excluded from uh, receiving services at a federal level because a college might decide that they couldn't be here. That That's too much power for uh, a private institution. That's like I'm, like I'm saying, I, uh, that's above my pay grade. Sure. But i got to get walking around now. My name's Dwayne. I can't remember. I know we met, but I can't remember what you My name's name. Kevin. Kevin, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Dwayne. Not be problem. safe. Thank, Thank you, sir. Time, you just let me know, okay? No, the guy inside, you know, tried to. He came out at me with an attitude, um, but, you know, I answered his questions before he asked them and then yeah. left. I'm not here to cause trouble, but I just didn't want to make him aware. Yeah, and that's what you're here for is to, is to create awareness and all that. And yeah, and it'd be and rude to stand change. outside and not introduce myself. That's right, that's right. You have a good day, sir. You too. Op exposed CPS on all social networks. Uh, I am one of the admin for the Oregon chapter. For what? Op Exposed CPS. Operation Exposed CPS. Okay. You can find that on all social networks. Do you mind, do you mind if I just write, I see you got down there, maybe I better just write it down in the information. You can contact me on your private time. That's me, that's my website. I'm one of the admins for the Oregon chapter of Op Exposed CPS. I'm okay. available for families if they get screwed over. I'm available as an activist for any good cause. Um, my number's out there. Uh, social networks, all of it. No, I, so. That's what makes America great is that, you know, being able to do the activism uh, and draw people's attention. Well, would it be great if more Americans stood up and did just this? We wouldn't have to do this. I hear that, brother. Be safe, sir. Hey, guys, you ever have any problem with DHS? Trying to take your kids or anything? My kids just got taken a couple months ago. Well, you need to be aware that the governor just fired the top DHS administrator because the foster care system here is corrupt, DHS is corrupt. I'm one of the admins for the Oregon chapter of Op Exposed CPS. You can find us on all social networks, uh, Facebook, Twitter. Um, Facebook has the Oregon chapter page. We're, we're here for you guys uh, to support you, help you understand what the law is, what your rights are. Um, so look into us. Don't sign anything without advice. You, you know, know what your rights are because they will lie to you. I grew up in foster care, so I know how to do so You know the whole deal. 
You know the whole deal. How old are your kids? years old. Um, if you here, let me give you my private contact info. Get a hold of me. Um, my number's here, my Facebook, my Twitter, my email. And if you need any help, I'm there to help you. Thank you. You're welcome. I appreciate Good luck. Awesome. That is interesting though, the state hiding behind the security of private property. Hmm, maybe that's why the police haven't showed up. I wonder if that guy's calling uh, the college right now. Ha ha ha. How you doing? Good, you? Good. Good. You aware about what's going on with DHS? Don't care. Don't care. Good morning. Good morning. How you doing? Good. How about you? Good. Am I in your way? Nope. You're good. All right. Thank you. Sorry? I didn't catch what you were saying. Oh. The top uh, DHS administrator for the state has been fired by the governor with a full review of the foster care system and uh, there's reports of children going unfed, uh, people not getting paid for foster care. We know you know, on a global scale that CPS and DHS are abusing uh, children in some way, their affiliates are. Uh, it's really a cash generator for corporations and uh, I'm one of the admin for the off-exposed CPS Oregon so chapter. I understand all that's messed up, what they're doing. Um, so what, are you, are you, are you just promoting me or are you trying to get... I'm here just raising awareness okay. and showing families that sure. are screwed over by DHS that there's a, a huge network of activists out there ready to support them, inform them of their rights, um, help them through the process, make them understand what's that's really going on. Whole right here. Well, this is, part of this is, is the food stamp place, but CPS, the, the, the Child Protective Workers Office is also here. So that's why I'm here. I'm not here for, sure. for um, you know, the Screen whole... Screen awareness and all that? Yeah. Letting people know so. See, I didn't even know until now, but that's what's on there. Keep doing your thing, man. I will. Thank you, brother. Take care. Remember, there's a big network out there to support you. There absolutely is. I would agree with that as well. There is. This is a big global movement uh, near its inception of off exposed CPS. Um, the call centers with valid reports of abuse through CPS entities, uh, we shut down the FBI call centers. There were so many calls for abuse once people knew that there was a support network. Things are a lot deeper than what the public sees. And when the governor fires the top DHS administrator and orders a full review of the foster care system because children are going out food, people are not getting paid, uh, I have, you know, that alone should be enough to tell people that we really need to start watching. You know, um, and there's a lot of good people within the system. It's the system that is the problem, not the people. I mean, I can't see that any of those people speaking want to harm anybody, but they're in a system that harms, so we have to do something about it. Do you really think it's a system or are people taking advantage of the system? It's corporate control, ultimately. Corporations control everything. Um, there are repeated cases where DHS gets involved, violates human rights, the children get sent to corporate-owned institutions that systematically abuse the children, whether they're uh, testing drugs, overdosing them on drugs, making a profit from those drugs, and uh, the people that they hire. You know, you, you need to follow the money and see what the result is. You know, our kids need to be protected, absolutely. But when the organization that's protecting them is causing more harm than good, then we have to say, hey, it, enough is enough, you know? Um, what is the absolute solution? Well, I don't know. We're not there yet, but I know this can't go. I can tell you a personal story from this office exclusively that happened recently. Uh, single father, three kids, teenagers. Um, you know, and, and the home situation was just getting stressful and hectic and reached out to these people to see what resources were in the area. And it took over a month for them to even respond appropriately after several calls. And when they did respond, 
They wanted to set up a meeting so that they could uh, close their case. So, uh, so when, even when parents reach out to them. Why, why do you have the mask on if you're really well, trying to help? Why is, what is that? Because uh, it's the idea of anonymity. I'm not here for me. You don't need to know anything about me. You need to know the information I'm sharing today. Yeah, I mean, you're scary, especially when kids come by. I think you're scary, <laughs> myself. I think you're scary and people are like, ah. I mean, why don't you just have, why don't you just talk to me? Well, people? you certainly didn't overlook me when you went by. No, yeah, because you're scary. That's what I think. But you're not, when kids come but, by, I would be but like, you're not no, 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 But you're not scared, scared now. I'm not getting close to you, am I? Well, <laughs> I mean, I, I just think, I think, when people wear masks and they're trying to get a point across, they're they're hiding part of it because they don't want to show who. I mean, we're walking around with nothing on our face. Right, but you're not you're you're not standing up against the corporation uh, well, are either. Are you afraid that, of them come after you or what? Not necessarily. Uh, it's the I. You know, it's more the idea to show people that it's not about us as individuals. It's about us standing up for causes yeah, and if, ideas. If, but yeah, but as an individual, you're part of a group, and a group needs to show support and show who they are instead of being all messed up. That's all I... I well, if you look thing. into the anonymous movement, you'll find that there are billions of us. Some of them are judges, lawyers, military. Well, and if I had all the answers, I wouldn't be here today. <laughs> And we wouldn't have a problem. Would that's we? my yeah. That's my yeah, but you know. Yeah, I, I'm doing my I'm doing my part. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Telling me I'm doing it wrong. That's fine. Uh, I mean, everybody, you know. She was voicing her opinion. Which is good. Just like you're doing. Yeah, so absolutely. That's, that's and and you know. Part about America is the fact that we have free streets. Free I streets. I agree with her. So. I agree with her. Um, you know, the mask does scare some people. Just like a black man walking up the street scares some people. You know, you know, um, so <laughs> it's just funny. This is society. We nitpick the little stuff and overlook the big issue, you know. Um, but and again, yeah, hey, that's. But you know, scared or not, she got the information. That's that's a powerful statement. So. Yep. Sure. I, I hope you do read the sign. I hope you do the research. Did you know about uh, the top DHS? Well, I'm well aware of it, yeah. Well aware of it, yeah. Yep, yep. Yeah, well, I'm well aware of, the, of, of what's happening to you, so. Okay. You're well aware of op exposed CPS? Yep, yeah, exactly. Okay. You can find more info on the social web. All right. Thank you. Thank you. That's great, a human being that's informed of the whole situation. Of course, he did walk out of the DHS office. But are you aware? Well, folks, I guess uh, I made enough of an impact here today. I just thought I'd take a walk by all the windows, you know. This is uh, the employment side of things. Um, Obviously, good chance that parents in there are struggling.